Like you go to Carnival and you get your shopping right. done. You can yes. get some, you know, Carnival food. Yeah, Not a all. wasted trip at all. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah you gotta make time. it work. And hopefully the weather's fitting uh, for that weekend, but uh, we know at least this weekend. Temperatures uh, today, I think, closer to the low 80s. Is that correct? Yeah, we're right around 80 degrees later on this afternoon for much of the area, but you talked about yesterday how we did see that rainfall. We saw beneficial rain across the area. A little bit more than two inches of rainfall has fallen over the last 48 hours across parts of southern Maryland, over towards the Montgomery County area, a little bit more than an inch, but in D.C. Again, this is radar indicated about three quarters of an inch for the district, but farther out towards the west, a few pockets of at least two inches of rainfall over towards Winchester, even just north of Culpeper, a little bit more than an inch of rainfall even across parts of northern Virginia and even into uh, Loudoun County as well. What we're tracking here in the Weather Center, it's a cloudy start to the day, some areas of some fog and also a few sprinkles, but not everyone's seeing uh, that rainfall at this point. We'll eventually see a partial clearing of the skies today, allowing those temperatures to warm back up to right around 80 degrees. A little bit warmer tomorrow, considering we'll see more sunshine. And hey, fall begins on Sunday. That's a fall equinox. Fall officially will begin at 844 in the morning, and we'll certainly feel a little bit more fall like out there Sunday, and then even extending into the first start of the work week next week. Satellite and radar, a wider view just to show you that we do have the clouds around. A few of those spots sprinkles, though, so let's zoom on in to show you where we're seeing those. A few of those light showers, mainly down towards the orange area and just to the west of Fredericksburg, right into Spotsylvania County there. Then as we pan farther to the north, the, right along the Pennsylvania Maryland state line. That's where we're seeing a few of those sprinkles to kickstart your Thursday morning. I'll see a little bit of that patchy fog too. down about three miles in Manassas at this point down about seven miles in Culpeper. It's getting better in Luray, but about a mile or less back over towards Kaiser and then back over towards Western Maryland the mountains region seeing about a mile or less. So those are the areas where we're seeing the thickest in terms of that fog this morning. Future cast though shows us that through the day, at least through this morning, a few of those spot showers still lingering very light than those dissipate and we'll eventually notice those clouds starting to dissipate as well. Those clouds will continue to move out. We'll see a partial clearing of those skies developing later on today. So as we get closer towards sunset, you'll certainly notice uh, brighter conditions just ahead of sunset. You know, as we look ahead towards overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, some clouds through the overnight. So we're looking partly cloudy. Temperature starting off upper 50s to low 60s for your Friday morning. Clouds exit and also some of that fog exits as well. And we'll see more of that sunshine out there for your Friday afternoon, allowing for more 80s across the board. Talking low to mid 80s out there for your Friday afternoon with those winds mainly out of the north northeast. Looking at the setup over the next several days today and tomorrow, this high pressure starts to dive its way in. That should keep us dry and quiet to round out the week and for the start of the weekend. We're still looking partly cloudy out there on Saturday. There is that system that's trying to inch its way closer towards our area this weekend. But overall, we'll just notice a little bit more of the cloud cover later in the day Sunday. Then as we look at the rest of that seven day forecast, we should see increasing cloud cover on Monday and then more rain chances in that forecast as we get towards next Tuesday and Wednesday. But like I mentioned, fall begins on Sunday. High temperatures will be back right around seasonable upper 70s, but a little bit cooler to start off that next work week. Monday should be into the low to mid 70s. Shanika's back with the important look at those roadways. What are you seeing out there this morning? All right, I'm seeing